justice for having come in late. Yesterday, the Parliament's Presidential Affairs Committee met with a section of recipients of the infamous roofing iron sheets meant for the vulnerable people of Karamoja sub-region. Some of these were cabinet ministers. The committee was scheduled to interact with the Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Margaret Kitutu, but didn't show up, choosing instead to participate in activities in her constituency of Manafa. We gave her two invites. She didn't turn up and yet it was based on her request. And uh, today she gave an excuse that she is uh, appearing before the CID. And as human beings, we know what is happening around. Uh, there are other parallel investigations which are also ongoing. Asked about this, the committee chairperson Jessica Babiko said, if Kitutu does not appear before them on Tuesday, they'll have to evoke parliamentary rules of procedure to drag her to the committee. We have been giving her opportunities based on her request. So we strongly believe that she will appear latest Tuesday. If she fails, we shall invoke the rules. Yes, we shall, because she is a primary witness and she is the minister in charge of the constitution under Article 90, it provides for committees of parliament to have powers of the High Court. Also, Rule 208 of Parliament's rules gives committees the same power. Kitutu has appeared before the committee, but she's yet to reappear to give more information. Ababiko says that Tuesday will be the last day they interact with beneficiaries of the iron sheets. Uh, the ones uh, who are pending... Uh, Eight, eight, and we strongly believe on Tuesday we shall handle because today we had more than that. The committee will start writing their report after Tuesday and they say this will take them two weeks. A section of MPs are eagerly waiting for the report. A responsibility of government to take care of the people and these are public offices. So all of us, even members of parliament, we have been entrusted by the public to conduct business on their behalf. So if there is something and the public is interested, it's our responsibility to give information. All those who are culpable and all those who received anarchists must be summoned. And if they have an explanation to offer, they must offer explanation. All those found, uh, found to have erred in one way or the other must be taken into account and, and must be prosecuted. Ababiku says they are not only looking at issues relating to iron sheets, but have other queries. But uh, we are also aware that people only narrow on the issue of iron sheets. And for us, that is not the only thing that we are handling. We have the issue of the maize, we have the issue of the goats. So uh, the country should be patient with us, so that we have a comprehensive report. Ababiku who is also the woman MP for Jumani, says they are looking to produce a report that will make it hard for other government officials to steal relief items in the future. Jumakiria, NTV.